Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven, I tell you how to do it, even if you don't care. And I wasn't expecting to make a third video here, but I just looked at my Gmail account today, and it seems that Forge World has announced the pricing of the Phantom Titan for the Eldar. And so I wanted to give you guys a heads up on what they're looking at. And it is ridiculous how much he is, and I'm saying this in a good way, because wait till you hear this. He, he comes out to a total of about... He's, his body is 350 pounds, and looking at the conversion rates today, 350 pounds comes out to $559.37. And each of his arms are 50 pounds, which is $79.41, giving you a total of $718.23 for the um, Warhound Phantom Titan. And now what's ridiculous about this price is... The Reaver Titan, his body alone is 410 pounds, which is $655.26. And each of his arms are usually rough, and each of his weapons are about 60, usually um, $51 or $51 roughly, um, 51 pounds, forgive me, 51 pounds, which turns into 81.51, so right there, it's cheaper to buy the Eldar Phantom Titan than it is to buy the Reaver Titan, and the Phantom Titan is taller. Um, I'm taking this into account the possibly the size of the model. The Reaver Titan is probably a lot fatter, since it is, like, I've seen the thing, it is huge and, like, and thick, whereas the, what, the, um... Eldar Phantom Titan is, tends to be more, looks like it's going to be more slender figure than anything. So that's probably in count to, so they're probably using less resin. They're probably using about the same amount of resin they're using to make the Reaver Titan's body to make the entire model piece of the um, Eldar Phantom Titan. So this is really good. I mean, for especially all those Eldar fans that, who were thinking, oh, you're probably, like I said, we're probably going to spend about a hundred, um, nine hundred dollars on this thing. I mean, it's not that expensive. Um, in comparison to the other Titans in its class range, which is really, really awesome. And looking at it, like they said, they're selling the weapon separate from its body, which makes me question, are they going to have different weapon types? Which would be really awesome if they do um, have that. I'd be very curious to see what type of we different weapons they'd give the thing. Um, right, like we know it's getting a um, pul uh, Phantom Lance and a Phantom Pulsar, and a Phantom D cannon. What I'm hope the two things I'm hoping for is that they're going to make alternate arms for them, so you can have either two D cannons or two pulsars, or have your D cannon and your pulsar on either sides for for uh, some aesthetic choices that you'd like or something. Or and if that give us, or if they don't at least do that, at least give us some new weaponry. So that's what I'm thinking that they might actually do. And in that case, they might be prepping for making a. Warlock Phantom Titan. This way, you can purchase the body, and like I said, that head, that alternate head, may be for the Warlock um, ver variant of him, and then they just have to craft new weapons, which would be amazing. And there may be like I don't know what it is, but we may this may indeed this may announce that they might give him some sort of a close combat weapon, sort of like a Phantom Wraith Sword or something like that. Which would be really neat, or like a Phantom Witchblade or something. So, or just a generic power, power fist. But, so that's the latest on the, um, the Eldar Phantom Titan. And according to my information here, um, the, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a limited availability at, at, for him at Games Day. Um, and it looks like that's going to be starting April, um, the 1st of April to the 3rd of April. So that's going to be the first time anyone's going to be able to purchase the Eldar Phantom Titan, as long as well as um, a couple of other extra models that they've, um, been announcing. I don't know too much about, but it looks like a lot of, uh, it looks like two fantasy models, um, that they're producing, um, as well. And that's really all I had for today. If I find out any more information like as to when we can order them online for ourselves, I'll let you guys know. And until next time, this is Helios Raven, signing off.